really, really close. And I think this is a really good matchup for Pokemon Trainer 2, specifically Ivysaur. Yeah. Um, Ivysaur has really good Razor Leaf to blow up the grenades. He can juggle Snake super hard. If Snake goes low, he gets spiked. Uh, pretty good. Squirtle can combo Snake pretty well, but he will die very early, so he can't really make any mistakes. Yeah. And uh, Charizard is just too big. He just gets blown <laughs> up way too easily. But uh, he can kind of kill Snake early sometimes. You can already see immediately, too, Bloomy is on Ivysaur for a good reason, right? He doesn't have to really worry about interacting with C4, grenades, or any of like that. Razor Leaf is one of those great tools Ivysaur has in the neutral to just break through in. And that did give Bloomy that 33% that we're seeing on Apollo Kage, even though he has the lead. Right now, though. Oh, no, oh, he's got to watch out, yeah. Yep. Not dead, but he's got to be aware of that. Think of though about Apollo Kage, he's... Yeah, he's one of the best snake players right now, for sure. He's so good at putting up a wall. He has really good mix-ups as well. So, uh, yeah, great wow. <laughs> Grenade into the nair did 37%. Yeah, and that was, but, like uh, you said, he he literally built a wall of C4s and... I'm sorry, of grenades and C4s. That even when Bloomy switched to Squirtle, look at how much damage he's taken. And he gave Apollo Kaga the stage to come back to you and the neutral to win. That was really smart. Yeah, the Razor Leaf can be very frustrating for a Snake to use grenades a lot of times, but if they mix up the timings that they're using a uh, grenade, they can actually backfire on the Ivysaur pretty hard. But there's the up air, catching him through the platform. Finally going to take that stock, but yeah, he still has to be very careful here. Almost getting the... Oh, never mind, he gets it anyway. Just, <laughs> me just up tilt the other way, sure. He'll kill regardless. At the ledge here. Oh! Okay, that oh. does meet the threshold to actually beat out Cypher. So good for Bloomy to actually stop wow. the recovery. And just like that, man, this is a reversal and such a good position for Bloomy to be in here. But we know how Apollo Kage is at the ledge. He is relentless. Bloomy looking for yeah. a way to barely come back, but Apollo Kage is not here. giving him. The, yeah, he's not giving him the chance. Nice razor leaf, though. I was surprised he didn't get the razor leaf uh, grab out of that, but still maintaining some really good position on the stage. Gotta be very careful though. I'm starting to see him get a little bit impatient with these grenades, and that damage adds up very quickly. Oh, gotta watch it. Don't want to trade with these grenades in this situation, especially. Yeah. Ooh, oh man, tough. yeah. 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 Uh, Apollo Kai is matching that up still, but he definitely read the roll in the first one. He did. He, he did. He did. Missed. It's it's Bloomy who basically barely got away by like a frame or so. Oh wait, this is a good yeah. chance for Bloomy right now. Yeah, Bloomy. He has the win condition, meaning if he can get Snake at disadvantage, he can possibly kill, but one of the most unsafe F tilts I've ever seen on Shield coming out there from Bloomy. I almost think that was a miss input, but uh man, that's rough. He definitely had the comeback in his hands. He did have the comeback in his hands. Honestly, he forward tilted a little bit too much. Like you said, it was very unsafe on Shield. I think had Bloomy just stayed his ground, used a couple more razor leaves here and there. Bloomy would have totally have been fine. The thing here is that I think Bloomy thought he might have opened up Apollo Kage and it was safe to go for a forward tilt. Or like you said, it might have been a miss input here. But uh, Bloomy, he knows what to do to win. Honestly, he understands the win condition against Snake. And especially he knows what characters to go for in the battle. So he's got another opportunity here. This is a best of three, so not a best of five territory yet. So Bloomy's got one more chance here. Of course, Apollo Kage, like you said, strides. One of the strongest snakes here in the online meta. Maybe even offline too. I remember hearing oh, yeah, about yeah. him a little a bit. Apollo Frost, Kage, yeah, I, I really, really strong player offline for sure. I think like one of the Midwest snake players or something. But uh, let's see how this match goes. I'm just gonna run it right back to PS2. Uh, this is a strong snake stage, but I think especially Bloomy likes the platform layout and the space he gets to use the Razor Leaf while also moving, maneuvering around the grenades himself. So I, I like this choice to go back here. Oh, Mr. Oh, Tech. Close. Yeah. I wonder if Ivysaur's jab is light enough to jab lock. I'm assuming it is. Oh, nice layout. Nice layout for his combos, but his up tilt reaches from the platform drop. Unfortunate for Blue. He wanted that platform drop up air to see if he can potentially get an early kill. Looking for up smash here, maybe, with Charizard. Or back air. Gotta be careful, though. Can't really afford to. Uh, get blown up by grenades. 
Uh, ah, unsafe, yeah. That was good for good. Boomy because he wanted to avoid Nikita there, but in hindsight, when you think about it, like there's too much M lag from Flare Blitz, and you can tell that Apollo Kage just knows where he's gonna land. Beautiful grenade into the neutral air. It's like so much percent. It's like 30 oh. plus percent. That was a good yeah. grab attempt too, because he wanted to just fling oh. Snake out of the stage, but look at the price he paid for this. 93%. There is the back air, enough knockback and the interaction from the grenade as well, but Bloomy is still down a whole 114%, almost oh, a whole stop. Almost. Yeah, really rough, really rough right now. He needs to he needs to go in with Ivysaur. <laughs> he needs to put this snake in disadvantage and just go go to work. That's the best way he needs to come back, in my opinion. Yeah, he started off slowly with these back airs, though. Second oh, one not being too no, safe. Yep. Forward tilt will be a really good way to kill Ivysaur at the ledge. I'm not digging yeah, this that, Charizard pick, because look, look how much damage yeah. he's taking. Yeah, he's got to yeah. switch off. Oh, oh no, the man, C4. the stick, too. All right, All right, C4 dropped off. But again, I really like the awareness from Apollo Kage. Catches him sleeping on the platform. Easy C4 stick. He, he's just playing very well. Very difficult right now for Gloomy. Okay, using yeah. Razor Leaf to try to break through. That was where Bloomy succeeded the last time. He used a lot of Razor Leaf to kind of break through Snake here, get a couple cross-ups, get grab, get back airs, you name it. The down air was a little bit too early on the mark, but I like the attempt nonetheless. Up you want to make sure oh. Snake cannot recover up for free every time. Oh. Man, no invincibility here, I don't think. Yeah. But nice to be at the ledge. Yeah, no pretty obvious to go for that. Yeah, falling up right there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Unfortunate. Unfortunate for Bloomy. I can see at the end he was really getting desperate for the kill and like can't blame him because he's so far behind. Like, he had to make something happen.